Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLaunch.com. Uh, I've gotten a lot of requests recently for more retouch tutorials, and I know we just did one, but we're going to do one more just to kind of you know further enhance our retouching abilities in Lightroom. So let's go through that. We're going to start with this image. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to break this into a two-part series. In this first part, we're going to do the basic adjustments and color correction, and in the second part, we'll do all our, our retouch. So let's get started. I'm going to hit F twice to go full screen. And then we are already in our develop module. I'm going to hit I, and we're just going to go briefly over how this image was shot. This image was shot on Laguna Beach, one of our typical uh, engagement session locations. It was shot at 1 one twentieth of a second at 2.8 ISO 160 uh, on a 7200 millimeter lens on a Canon 5D Mark II. Now for lighting, uh, we have basically a flash that's placed behind for a hair light as well as a flash that is off to the right side that is going through a scrim as kind of acting as a soft box and that's what's giving it the nice uh, the nice soft lighting with a little bit of shadow uh, coming off to the left side. So let's hit I again remove that. I'm going to actually shrink up this left side just so we have a little bit less to worry about and let's start with uh, the actual production. So first thing we're going to do is always start with the biggest adjustments first. On this one it's probably going to be just nailing in our temperature because our exposure is pretty dang close to where it needs to be. So let's tweak our exposure, uh, our, our temperature a little bit. I'm going to bring it down just a tiny bit. Um, I noticed that they are a little bit on the pink side, so I might just go down a little bit on the tint. And uh, I think we're going to go about right there for now. We can make some fine-tuning adjustments at the end of this first part once we've dialed in the rest of our settings. So let's take the exposure down just a tiny bit because I noticed that we are a little bit highlight heavy. We're going to also add a little bit of recovery, and then I'm going to add the rest back. Um, I'm going to add probably, let's go plus 5 on the fill light. Uh, yeah, plus five is good. Uh, I'm going to add five to my blacks and see where it gets me. If it crushes a little bit too much, which it looks like it is right now, I'm going to take it out a tiny bit. Then let's add a little bit more brightness to it. So let's pull back up the brightness. Uh, and that looks about right right there. Okay, we're going to go on to... I'm going to skip contrast because I have a decent amount of contrast right now in my image. I don't need to go any further. We want to avoid those kind of crazy highlights on the skin anyway. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of clarity. Why? Because we're going to pull it out. And you know what might be easier on something like this is, uh, well, let's just do it this way. Because uh, you kind of want to make the adjustment with the, the broader area in mind. For example, if you want to enhance detail over most of the image, but then reduce it from some, then you would add clarity to the overall image versus a brush. But if it's the opposite way around, then you probably just want to leave clarity or drop clarity and then add your detail back to the smaller areas with a brush. So kind of make the adjustments here based on the most large adjustments, the most sweeping adjustments. Smaller stuff you're going to basically uh, you're going to basically do with a brush. So let's just add some clarity to it. Let's go up plus 40 because we're going to remove I'm mainly right now I'm looking at the hair. So I just want to add detail to the hair and like the shirt and stuff like that. So if we go up to plus 50 right now it's fine because we're going to drop it out of our skin in a second with a brush. I'm going to add about 20 to my vibrance. Let's actually take it up a little bit higher. Let's go up to plus 30. That looks really nice right there. We're good with our basic adjustments. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to my detail adjustments. We're going to zoom in on the eyes. We're going to start with our sharpening. And it looks like this image is a little bit on the soft side. So let's take it up to our standard and see where we're at. It actually looks OK at the standard. If I wanted to go up a little bit higher, I could. But I'm going to leave it right there. We're going to need to do a lot of detail reduction on the face just because there's a lot of pores that are showing up. Now, while we have the de detail panel open, I'm going to check out my noise over here. Let's see what the noise looks like. We're shot at I ISO 160 on the shot, so there's not a lot of noise in the shadows. But what we do want to do is, if you guys remember in the last tour, we talked about how you can use noise reduction kind of as a general softening filter almost. So we're just going to add, let's say, plus 30 to the noise reduction. Let's Let's take it up until it's looks a little plasticky. And right about 50 it's looking plasticky, so I'm going to go back down to 30 and that looks fine right there. So we're, we're removing noise from the shadowy areas. We're also removing a little bit of detail and just kind of smoothing out the skin a little bit. Alright, so let's close up the detail panel. Let's go on to lens corrections and let's just check our vignette right now. Right now it, it looks nice the way it is, but I, I think if I reverse vignette I can get a little bit more uh, basically uh, brightness on the edges. And the thing I don't want to happen is right now, like with that vignetting, it's darkening that his his kind of face right there. So like on the over the skin, I don't like it to be darkened like that. So if I pull it back, I mean, this is kind of like a personal preference type thing. Usually I like my to make sure that skin is never affected by a vignette. So I'm going to go plus 20 
and just pull in the midpoint a little bit so it kind of just brightens up the edges a tiny bit. From here guys, if you guys want to make any basic uh, adjustments to this, you guys are welcome to. Um, I'm, I might check my, uh, just hit J to check my highlights and shadows. And I might add just a little bit more blacks just to kind of increase the contrast a little bit in the image and just pump it up a little more. You can also add a tiny bit more uh, vibrance if you guys wanted. But that looks good as far as the basic goes. What we're going to do now is go into our snapshots. I'm going to add basic color corrected so we can do comparisons to our before and after very easily. So here's the before on our image. That was our original and this is the after on our image. Uh, and now let's go on to the second part of the tutorial where we're going to basically clean up all the skin and enhance details in certain areas and kind of smooth out the skin in other areas.